This is the story about a client who found healthcare to be inaccessible, uh, what she went through over the last couple of years, and uh, I thought you might get something out of it. This is exactly the kind of client who I serve on a typical day and who I enjoy serving. As an immigrant to the U.S., accessed Excel as an immigrant to the U.S., accessing healthcare, whether affordable or at all, has always been a struggle. As a matter of fact, I've gone for most of the two decades living in this country without any because I couldn't afford it. Found the system extremely hard to navigate and didn't know about sliding scale options. And yes, this includes even periods of gainful employment. As a result, my only option for care in an emergency, of which there have been a few, have been going to the ER or an urgent care clinic which charge exorbitant prices. The financial anxiety combined with medical trauma from past experiences have made it that I usually avoid seeking care until it's usually too late. Prior to the pandemic, I was working full-time in catering and was barely making ends meet. I was laid off in March 2020 due to COVID and lost all income. I was denied unemployment, but fortunately in May 2022, two whole months later, I was approved for pandemic unemployment assistance and my health coverage through Medicaid. I used the PUA funds to pay outstanding credit card debt and medical bills and cover costs of living during the pandemic. I was never late on rent and stayed on top of all my bills. Furthermore, finally having the time and space to not worry about bills for a while motivated me to get involved in mutual aid work for, uh, motivated me to get involved in mutual aid work to help people who were struggling more due to exacerbating pandemic inequality. I started catering from my apartment kitchen to fundraise for various causes and donated a large portion of my PUA to people who needed it more while also working with various community orgs. Eventually I was able to get vaccinated in March 2021 and return to work in restaurants part-time while pursuing mutual aid work and catering gigs on the side. However, in August 2021, I injured my dominant hand in a freak accident while working. The injury was severe enough that it caused me to lose a month's worth of income because of my inability to perform kitchen tasks like before. Because the bulk of my income comes through freelance catering gigs, I absolutely cannot afford not to work because no work means no income. I pushed through my injury at first and delayed seeking care, in this case stitches, because of this. The delay in seeking care resulted in my injury healing poorly and taking longer to recover. Now I require additional care that will delay healing even further. In spite of it, I continue to work part-time and I'm grateful to have found people and community to help me through this process. I was really proud to have been part of that process for her. The People's Accu is meant for you to be able to pay whatever you can at the time. Some people pay over $200, some people pay you know, two dollars. Some people pay nothing. It sure made a difference having having the ability to to see an acupuncturist, uh, to see someone who encouraged her to get the right kind of care that she needed, uh, seeing someone who encouraged her to follow up on her thumb, on her injury. That sure made a difference for this person. And she wouldn't have uh, received that if she didn't have the freedom to pay whatever it was that she was able to pay at the time. I think her. I think her. Uh, that's a, that's my, that's my kid taking his drum set apart. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you got something out of it. Take care.